Yes, the market has shifted. And yes, mortgage rates are higher than we've seen in nearly a decade. And yes, buyers and sellers feel it's nearly impossible to make a move right now, or at least that's what the news says. In fact, there are three big strategies we wanna cover with you today to make sure you do not take a bath on your home. And I'm going to share those with you today so you can feel confident in this marketplace and even make a few dollars in the process. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel where we love Georgia, Atlanta, and the people and places that make it great. I'm Stephanie with The Cole Team, and today we are going to cover three big strategies for you to be successful when you're selling your home in this market that we're in today. But before we dive in, please like and subscribe to our channel. It means the world to us. All right, back to the topic at hand. Three things you need to do if you're gonna sell in this market to be successful and make some dollars in the process. First off, you've gotta price it correctly. We are no longer in a market where you could pick a pie out of the sky number and maybe even a buyer would bid 100 grand over that. No, no, gone are those days. We don't care what your neighbor got. I'm sorry you're not gonna get that number, but you are still gonna get some of the highest numbers we have ever seen in the history of real estate. That said, you must look closer than ever at the homes that are on the market and have sold in the last 30 to 60 days. Going back further than that, sure, it will help with your appraisal, but it is not gonna help you be successful in this market and sell your home, and of course, reach the highest number of buyers that are looking right now. Pricing your home correctly can make all the difference whether a home sells or of course it doesn't. It is typically the first thing that a buyer does in their buyer journey is understand pricing and what the marketplace allows. To sell your home at the best possible price, you have got to price it competitively. If you're not sure what that means or what that number is for you, one suggestion would be to look at all the others that are similar size, similar comparison, similar type, and price it just at or below. The best way to do that is of course to consult a real estate agent. They can look back through the last few months and help you determine the best and most motivating price for your home. You're much more likely to get multiple offers when you price it aggressively, even in this market. That will open you up to more buyers and exceed buyer expectations when they see a home like yours priced for a price like that. So what's the right price for your home? How low is too low? You should always consult an expert. Talking with an experienced real estate agent can help you find that right number. So you don't price it too low and leave money on the table. That is not what we wanna see happen for you. Ah, uh, the next thing you gotta look at if you're gonna sell your home is looks. They matter again. No longer are buyers gonna react positively to a home that is cluttered, that has repairs that need to be made, is severely outdated. Nope. They just don't have to do it. We're back to what the market was like preparing a home to list a few years ago. You need to take the extra time to get your home ready. Make sure any repairs that they are done. Make sure it's clean, make sure it's updated if possible, and make sure it's ready for the market. Staging is a huge bonus. Using programs like Compass Concierge that we offer to help you front the money to get these items done before listing are huge and beneficial right now. Think about it, rates are high right now. Buyers aren't going to have that extra money to do what they want to do to your home to make it theirs. And think about it, there's enough other homes on the market or coming on the market, they're gonna be moving ready for a buyer and a buyer is gonna jump on those. So today we're covering getting your house ready at a very high level, but please know on our channel, we've got lots of detailed information to help you. And last but not least, and probably the most important thing, coming off a market like we were all just in makes it very challenging to shift focus and be successful. Many are stuck on what their neighbors got for their home. And unfortunately, that market, as you know, and as we've been talking about, it shifted, but you can still be very successful. We are not seeing homes go five, 10% over asking price. In fact, what we're starting to see is home selling at three to 5% under asking price. It's becoming a more normalized market where there's room for healthy negotiation from a buyer perspective and a seller perspective. It may take some time to sell and that is okay. It does not mean your home will not sell. It just means we're entering a more normalized market where things take a little bit longer than they used to. It's a typical fourth quarter 
in what we see in most markets throughout the country where things are just a little quieter. Typically, these are some of the best months to sell in as you have the buyers all to yourself since there's not a lot of competition. So I have a good story for you about a home that we closed yesterday. We listed it three weeks ago and were able to garner multiple offers when way above list price. And you're probably wondering that goes against everything that we've been talking about and everything you're hearing about the market right now. Well, what we found true of every market that we've worked in in the over 20 years we've been selling real estate is a home that looks great, takes the time to be marketed properly and has something that buyers are looking for. And of course is priced well, it is gonna sell. And that is exactly what happened to this gorgeous home. We were able to work with these lovely sellers to get their house ready, to market it properly, and found multiple buyers that begged to have this home. So of course the moral of the story is, is you can be successful. Price your home right. Make sure it looks really good. Be open and willing to compromise. And don't go this alone. Enlist a seasoned professional. One that has sold for longer than just the two years where many deals were just handed to them. Make sure they've lived through the ebbs and flows of a real estate market. A typical one, a normalized one, a crazy one like we were just through. Make sure they have the knowledge that can help you be successful and ultimately get the most for your home. So we would love to hear from you. We'd love to know what it's like in your market right now. Are you starting to see real estate signs sit in front of homes for a lot longer than you were several months ago? Are you hearing neighbors chatter about that? Are agents actually having to get flyers printed for a listing? We would love to know because we are all in this together. And if you find yourself looking for a home in Georgia or just wanna know more about our area, we hope you will like and subscribe to our channel. We do life in this area and we would love to help you do the same. Until the next time, we hope you go enjoy life. Thanks so much.